What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is my video on how to install the Android SDK on Windows. This is a full setup from start to finish. The first step, it's pretty easy. You need a web browser. I recommend Firefox or Google Chrome. You're not going wrong with either option. In your browser's URL bar, just search for Android SDK or you can click the link in the description. Click the first link that you see with Google or if you click the link in the description and then when you get to the Android SDK website, you need to click download for other platforms. If you're on Mac, choose the option that says Mac. If you're on Linux, choose the option that says Linux. We're on Windows, so we're going to click on the one that's in the Windows section that says Recommended. Check the box that says you agree to the terms and conditions, and then click the big download button. I have really, really fast internet, and for some reason, this took a long time. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Whenever it finishes, click on the file and then it'll pop up a little box saying run and just click run. Click next and then if you get a little error about your Java development kit, just press on the visit Java Oracle website and then you'll wanna download Java development kit from there. When you click download, scroll down just a little and then there'll be a button that says accept license agreement. Personally, if I have a 64-bit system, I'm gonna download both the x86 and the x64. If you have a 32-bit system, then you'll only need to download the x86. Most computers these days are 64-bit systems, so you're probably best just downloading and installing both of them. Also, since this machine was just formatted and has a fresh clean installation on Windows 7, we're also going to Google Java and we're going to download the full Java x86 and 64-bit downloads so we can have the very latest Java. After they're done downloading, you'll want to go ahead and install all of them. I am, of course, fast-forwarding through the process of downloading them and installing them, but for me, I had about four total installs, the x64 and x86 versions of Java and the x86 and x64-bit versions of the Java development kit. After they're done downloading and installing, I went ahead and also clicked the Verify Java version button and I ran the little tool that's supposed to get rid of all older versions of Java because you don't want any of those on your system. Alright, so my system is free of older versions of Java, so don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to go back to the Android SDK installer, click the back button, and then click next. Now you shouldn't get a warning about your Java development kit missing. I went ahead and checked install for anyone using this computer, but obviously it's your choice on whether you want to click the install for just me button or not. Go ahead and click next and then hit install. Wait just a minute. Go ahead and let it do its thing. Click next and then click finish. Now it'll load up the Android SDK. It's going to fetch all the files that it needs to. Whenever it's finished, we need to click the deselect all button and then we need to check Android SDK tools and Android SDK platform tools and then click the install packages button. Accept the license terms and then click the install button and just wait a minute. Whenever it's done, click the close button and then exit the Android SDK manager. Now you'll want to open up the file explorer or whatever you happen to use on Windows to view your files. Go to your C drive, go to your program files or programs x86 if you have a 64-bit system. Click on Android and then click on Android SDK. Now what I like to do is drag my platform tools over to my favorites on the left hand side. That way no matter where I'm at I can quickly get to my platform tools and issue ADB commands, fastboot commands, and etc. I'm going to demonstrate this by closing out of the file explorer and then I'm going to open up the file explorer again and I'm going to show you that I can instantly get to my platform tools without navigating to my C, programs x86, Android, Android SDK, platform tools, etc. Now all you have to do is hold the shift button down, right click, and choose open command window here. And you can quickly run ADB, fastboot commands, and etc. That was pretty simple, right? That's how to fully set up the Android SDK and what I do when I install it and quickly get to my platform tools by creating the favorite and etc. Now, if you want to see how this is done on a Mac, one of my friends on YouTube, Mobile Carlos, has a great video showing you how to set this up on a Mac, which is a lot different from Windows. So I'll put a link in the description. It's also up on the screen right now if you want to go ahead and click on. I'll make it an annotation or you can just, you know... <laughs> I don't know, just write it down and type it in manually or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, the video is over. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two main social medias that I use the most. I also have Facebook, Google+, a second channel, gaming channel, etc. All of those will be linked in the description as well to the video on how to set this up on a Mac. Please click show more, expand in the description and see all the links. This is what would Josh do and I'm out. Oh yeah, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.